Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to play with the new Victoria Beckham. This is her Satin Kajal Eyeliner in Olive. And when I saw that color, I was like, oof, I got to pick that up right away. It looks so pretty. And so today what we're going to do is create this eye look using Miss Olive, as well as a few other of my favorite Victoria Beckham products. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, using Victoria Beckham products, specifically the new Olive Satin Kajal Eyeliner, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we have a little new Victoria Beckham in the house, and I was super excited about this new Olive Colored Satin Kajal Eyeliner. I've been really into colored eyeliner lately, having a bit of fun with that. Kind of reminds me of my high school days when I only wore colored eyeliner, blue eyeliner, purple eyeliner, teal eyeliner, and just having a bit of fun with that. So today I thought we would create a sort of smoky olive colored look with this new satin Kajal eyeliner in olive. So first let me swatch this for you and then we will have fun playing. So this is Miss Olive right here and it looks just super pretty. So that's just swatched with the tip of the pencil. And then I'm actually going to take the little sponge and I'm going to soften it just a bit to show you what it looks like kind of smoked out. Just a really pretty color. I like that it is almost a little bit brighter, like it's not too earthy, if that makes sense. So I feel like it's gonna pop my hazel eyes, or at least that is what I'm hoping it will do. So I'm actually going to just start by lining the eyes with the eyeliner so you can see it. And then I pulled out a few of my other favorites that I'm going to pop on just a little bit of eyeshadow afterwards. But let's first play with the liner, bringing you in a bit close. And what I'm going to start with is just tight lining the upper and lower lash line first. And then I think we will smoke out the top lid with this as well. But after I put on eyeshadow. These are super creamy and easy to smoke out. Take the sponge and I'm going to slightly smoke the bottom out. Okay, I have smudged some of the eyeliner underneath and I've tight lined the upper lash line and what I want to do is just add a little bit of this caramel color right here. This is just such a pretty versatile color. I often just use this as a one and done shade and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the lid before smoking out the green. So I'm just going to take this caramel tone just added a little wash of that caramel color and now I want to smoke up the upper lash line with this olive color and so far I am loving this color it just really is so pretty so I'm going to come up and just line close to the lash line I don't have to be too perfect because I will be smudging it out 
And as I said, these are super creamy. Then I'm going to take the other side here and then I can start to perfect and smoke this out. Okay, we have smoked that olive out and then I'm gonna pop on a little bit of this chiffon, just a teeny bit right kind of above the iris. I wanna just add a little shot of this pretty champagne, just a teeny bit. I just feel like it will give the whole smoky eye a little pizzazz. Using whatever's left on my finger up here, just lightly tapping into that brow bone. And so far I have just created a bit of a smoky, bronzy, olive eye here. And I'm going to go put on mascara so we can complete the look. I will also be cleaning up just a little bit underneath my eyes with a bit of concealer. Okay so, guys, I've put on mascara. I'm just going to take a little concealer. I'm using the Kosas Revealer Concealer. She doesn't have concealer yet, otherwise I would use hers. And I'm just going to do just a little bit right here and just cleaning up just a little bit under the eyes. These are really soft and creamy and smudgy so I that is what the Kajal is meant to do and I love it. I just want to clean it up just a little bit underneath that eye. Yeah you can just see just a little bit of cleaning up Okay, I am loving this color because again, it's not too khaki or mossy. It's got a little bit of lift to it, which I think brightens up your eyes. And the other day I had pulled out my Vert Emma Road from Chanel and I wanted to swatch this color next to the Chanel Vert Emma Road that I used the other day in a video. And then here is the Victoria Beckham Olive. So as you can see, this is definitely gonna pull a bit more on the emerald side. But and then I also pulled out my Khaki Metal. This again is from Chanel. And I'm gonna swatch that next to the Victoria Beckham Olive. So this is the Khaki Metal, and as you can see, more leaning khaki. This is True, then this is Victoria Beckham's Olive Shade, and then this is Vert Emma Road. Um, from Chanel. So as you can see this one is definitely going to pull a little bit more teal emerald color. This is a true olive with a bit of a lift and then this khaki over here is again going to be more in that mossy khaki zone. So I'm actually loving the color of the olive on my eyes because it is not quite teal but it's not too earthy or mossy if you want something with a little bit of a lift kind of in between those two colors this olive is going to be beautiful and this is going to be a creamy satin kajal whereas these two other eyeliners are going to be the waterproof so wanted to give you a couple options if you are somebody who doesn't like the creamy smudgy look and you want something that's going to be waterproof those would be good options. And now I just thought we'd finish off the face with a few more of her products. And I'm gonna use my bronzer from her. This is the shade two in her bronzing brick. And the way I like to use this is just use both colors here. And I am just going to put on 
a little bronzer warm up the skin. I'm really into these kind of bronzy smoky eyes with a pop of color. I am pretending that it is warm and sunny outside. Then I'm going to pop on a little bit of her blush and my favorite is roller skate. And I know it's going to look a little bit bright in the tube. And let me swatch this for you. This is just going to give your complexion a fresh little pop of color and these blend in beautifully. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks here and then we'll blend these out. Don't be scared. I know when I saw this color, but I'm finding that this is the perfect youth inducing blush. So I'm just taking my It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion brush. You can also use your fingertips and just going to go ahead and pat that into the skin. Isn't that such a pretty color? I just feel like it livens up your complexion and gives your skin a little bit of that healthy dewy look that I love. I am going to take just a little of both of these colors right in here and add just a teeny bit of that into my eye look to tie everything together just a bit and then for lips we're going to use one of my favorite combos it is her lip definer in number two along with the shade girl girl is just a really beautiful soft nude color so i'm wanting to play up the eyes kind of have a little bit of glossy, healthy skin and a nude lip. So I'm first going to line my lips. Then taking the shade Girl And this is the shade Girl paired with her lip liner in number two. Okay guys, this is my final look using some Victoria Beckham goodies, especially this new Satin Kajal eyeliner in olive and I am giving it a thumbs up. I love the color. I love the smudgeability of this liner and I'm just having a little bit of fun playing with colored eyeliners again. So as usual, I want to know if you picked up this eyeliner or plan to pick it up, what your thoughts are. I also did finally get my hands on the cocoa eyeliner so we will do another look using that one as well but if you are somebody who loves a creamy satin kajal eyeliner that's going to create a more soft smudgy eyeliner look then I think you're going to love this new one in olive. If I'm creating a look where I want a more defined eyeliner look that is not going to be so smudgy and soft then I am going to stick with my waterproof eyeliners. I tend to use the Victoria Beckham eyeliners for that more smudgy kind of lived in makeup look that I really enjoy and it creates such an easy eye look too. You can literally create the whole eye look with just eyeliner, no eyeshadow and such. So that's how I use these Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal eyeliners and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day and I will be back with another video soon.